Let's take a look at some percentage questions. Now you are allowed to use a calculator for all of these questions on this worksheet. So question one, 11% of 250. Well, the calculation is 0 0.11 multiplied by 250. And the answer is 27.5. 94% of 720, the calculation is 0 0.94 times 720. That comes to 676.8. 29% of 370, that's 0 0.29 multiplied by 370 and that comes to 107.3. 42% of 62, the calculation is 0 0.42 multiplied by 62, which comes to a total of 26.04. What is 30 as a percentage of 200? Well, 30 as a fraction of 200 is 30 out of 200. And to convert a fraction into a percentage, it's top divided by bottom times 100. So 30 divided by 200 multiplied by 100, and that comes to 15%. Question number six, 96 as a percentage of 128. Well, that's 96 out of 128 is a fraction. So as a percentage, that's 96 divided by 128 multiplied by 100, and that comes to 75%. To what's 23 as a percentage of 184? Well, as a fraction, it's 23 over 184. So to turn that into a percentage, 23 divided by 184 multiplied by 100. That comes to a total of 12.5%. What's 310 as a percentage of 217? So as a fraction, it's 310 over 217. So to turn that into a percentage, 310 divided by 217 multiplied by 100. Uh, that comes to a total of 142.85 dot 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 goes on for a long time. Let's just call that 142.9%. Find the value of 655 after a 4% increase. So uh, what we need to do here is um, work out what 4% of Oh, well, well, there's a few ways you can do this actually. So I, for me, the easiest way is thinking about what is the multiplier for a for 4%. It's usually 0 0.04, but for an increase, we add one to this figure. So that our multiplier is 1.04. So 655 multiplied by 1.04, and that will take me directly to 681.2. Alternatively, you can work out 4% uh, of 655 and then Whatever this answer is, add it on to your, add it on six five five, but you'll still get the answer six eight one point two. <clears throat> Find the value of four hundred and fifty after a thirty two point six percent increase. Well, our multiplier for thirty two point six percent is zero point three two six, but for an increase we add one, so that's one point three two six, and that's what we need to multiply four hundred and fifty by, and that gives us an answer of. 596.7. For question number 11, um, for a 13% decrease, well, our multiplier for a 13% for 13 is 0 0.13, but uh, what we need to do is subtract this from 1. Perhaps another way of thinking about it, if, if something is reduced by 13%, you're therefore paying 87% of what it was before. So we need to work out what 87% of 371 is. So if we're talking about 87%, then our multiply is 0 0.87 multiplied by 371, and that comes to a total of 322.77. Alternatively, work out 13% of this amount and then subtract that amount from 371. For all of these percentage increase and decrease questions, there are several ways you can get to the final answer. Question number 12, find the value of 854 after a 64.5% decrease. So what I'm going to do first of all is work out what 100% minus 64.5 is and that comes to 35.5. So basically if I'm reducing something by 64.5% all I need to do is work out 35.5% of the original amount. 
So the calculation is therefore 0 0.355 multiplied by 854 and that comes to a total of 303.17. So question number 13. Uh, so find the original value of a shirt bought for £27 given that it was discounted by 25% when it was bought. So what we know is that if it's been reduced by 25% then 75% equals £27 or £27, £27 equals 75%. So if 75% equals £27 what is the full amount which is the 100% amount? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out what 1% is first of all. If 75% is 27, then 1% is 27 pounds divided by 75, which is uh, 0 0.36, so 36p. So 100% is going to be 36 pence multiplied by 100, and that will give me 36 pounds. Challenging question, that one. <clears throat> so uh, question 14, a gym's price structure increases by 15%. David sets up a yearly membership costing £402.50. So how much did a yearly membership cost last year? So what we know is that it's been increased by 15%. So let's say it was 100% before, now it is 115%. So 115% equals this new amount of £402.50. So similar to question 13, I'm going to work out what 1% is and then work out what 100% is. So if 115% is this figure here, then 1% is this figure here uh, divided by 115, which is uh, 3.5, so £3.50. So therefore 100% is going to be 100 times this amount, which is £350. Question 15. So we are working out the percentage change. Now the percentage change is the difference divided by the original amount multiplied by 100. So first of all, we need to work out the difference between these two values, which is easy enough on a calculator. So that's 39.1 and it was originally 365.2. So that's our calculation. 39.1 divided by 365.2 multiplied by 100 and that comes out as 10.71%. Um, question B, in 2010 this, the same statistic was 495.8, so we're looking at the percentage change between 2010 and 2020. So in 2020 it was 326.1, so all you need to do is work out the difference between these two values. 495. 0.8 minus 326.1 that is a difference of 169.7 and we're going to divide that by what it was originally and it was originally 495.8 the original value is the value at an earlier point in time and multiply that by 100 so 169.7 divided by 495.8 multiplied by 100 and that works out as approximately 34 percent